Hi everyone, this is Ida. We are back you guys. We're back with, with group 9 and this time I am fully awake. <laughs> I was listening to the video of group 8 and I was half asleep during that video or it felt like it. And um, But I'm awake now you guys. I am awake. So here starting us off in group 9 is Little Bimshire Soap Company. And uh, this is what she created, you guys. This is what her packages look like. And she did use the sugar blush uh, paper that was the Hot Buy at Michael's. And she created these beautiful boxes, you guys, for uh, to house her tags. And everything is personalized. And it's it's the boxes are not all the same as far as the paper goes, but it's all from the same paper pad. So uh, this one is mine. Here's one of the ones that she created, and she did tie it. Um, I know she makes soap, so she does have a YouTube channel, so I'm going to make sure to post a link to her channel. And uh, she made these boxes, and she did personalize them with this belief tag. or this. It looks like she altered this tag because it feels like washi. And then she tied it up with this uh, tr lace trim. It's really pretty. And there's the back. And so here's one of them. And here is the other, and they're all real similar as far as uh, the paper goes because it's the same paper pad. So I'm going to remove these because she created one for me, and that we, we can uh, go in, into the packages and see what everything looks like. And put everything back in the package. So I don't lose anything. But here it is, guys. And she used, like again, like I said, the sugar blush paper. On mine, she used a different type of trim. But the other ones all have lace trim. And she's got this tag that she decorated with washi. It says Merry and Bright. And then here is Created to Create. Ida Martinez. So this one is mine. And I didn't see her information on the tag. But maybe it's inside. But she is the little Bimsh Bimshire soap company and I will post a link no worries I will post a link to her channel that way you guys can go out and check her out and maybe you can learn how to make soaps because I did see that she had uh, some soap process videos so let's see oh look at this you know my daughter was just asking me if I had star um, sequence because she was working on some cups and um, she wanted to, she needed some stars because she's doing a Dallas Cowboy Cup. I think she forgot she lives in Florida. We're supposed to be Dolphin fans because we live in Florida. Look at all the goodies, guys. She gifted everybody this uh, sequence pack with uh, gold and silver stars. And they look like in the, they're in a variety of sizes. So that's one of her goodies. She's got it in this little Ziploc, so you're not going to spill it. That's awesome to put it in there. And then she's got this artificial snow or flakes, confetti flakes. Very pretty, iridescent as well. Again, in her little bags. Awesome. This is a great sample pack. And then she included for everybody some gold jingle bells, some bells. Great for the tags. Oh, sorry about that, guys. My grandsons are here. And then in this one, guys, she included some lace. I can pull out the lace because that's not going to go everywhere. But she included a uh, a piece of um, crocheted lace. It's very pretty. I imagine she uses this uh, to do wrap up her soaps because I think she sells her soaps, if I'm not mistaken. But like I said, that her uh, channel name is... Uh, <clears throat> her link is going to be in the description guys so she she gifted everybody this awesome sample pack and let's move to tag one you guys this is the first tag that she created look at how pretty that is and it is like an ornament shaped tag and she embossed guys the to and from in the back is embossed and it's on a craft colored paper and I'm not sure what paper line she used here guys because I'm not familiar with it um 
but it is does have copper and gold foil going through it she's got this little Christmas tree she's got this love in the back right here and they go foil and then she's got a little piece of trim tucked in here or doily and she's got this little cluster of uh, tiny tiny roses oh that's a beautiful color and then she's got beads in here this is how I like to create guys I'd stick different things in there she's got a little bell in there and then for her hanging element she's got this this lace trim crochet trim and she's got a piece of um, burlap twine and then she has a wood piece a wood veneer of a flower right there so that's tag number one you guys and I don't know if she has any of the paper craft videos nonetheless if she has a video for this I will put it in the description box and I want to show you how she put the uh, crinkle shred inside the box to protect her tags so this is what it looks like Beautiful presentation. Forgive me guys if I didn't sound like I was so excited this morning because I think I was still half asleep. But I knew that I had to get this done. I feel like I'm running behind. Um, look at this guys she created a, a shred wreath <laughs> girl after my own heart she created a shred wreath and uh, sh uh, it's a shaker though hers is a shaker great idea and she's embossed in gold guys uh, like a Christmas tree shape and it says joy shared together Noel I hope you can see that Hope y'all can see that it's very pretty and it is a shaker see and she did the gold the shred wreath all the way around her tag and so it is on a circle and then the stars that she gifted everybody she uh, placed them you know all around her wreath and here's another cluster of flowers and uh, there I love these flowers they look very vintage oh that one's pretty and then she's got the two bells right here. Here is her hanging element. I believe this is similar, yep, to what she used on my box to close the box. And then here's her hanging element. And she added plenty of the lace trim guys for a hanging element. So make sure, you guys, that you reuse this. Even if you trim it, save those pieces because they can go on a tag on anything. Great job. I love your shred wreath. Uh, I'm always making these, and I love the way they look. So I want to thank you for playing, and I'm sorry I don't know your name because your name is not on your on your thing on your uh, paper. But you know what? Let me see. Let me see. Because I think she put yeah no she put her um, she put her uh, YouTube channel name on her package. So I don't know her name, but this is what she created, and she's Little Bimshire Soap Company here on YouTube. So thanks for playing and thanks and thank you so much for making one for me. These are beautiful. I, I love them and I love the little uh, sequence and all that. My daughter's going to come over here right now and she's going to snatch up these stars. Thanks for playing. Up next you guys we have my crafty my crafting world and her name is Anna Rodriguez. So Anna um, I think this one goes here because all of them have one but this one so I'm going to put it here um, I think these are all personalized guys and um, she made me a card so I want to share that with you or she said yep she made a card so I want to share that with you oops look at the card that Anna created look at how pretty that is she turned a wooden ornament you guys into a shaker how clever and she's got the I love 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 these uh, shaker bits and she it's got the hollies and holly leaves and the berries in there and uh, she's got this satin uh, rope to trim around the the ornament and then she added this uh, die cut of a Christmas tree in the metallic um, Yikes, I'm tongue-tied this morning. Glittered paper, guys. And she topped it off with a flat-back pearl on top. She's got this beautiful eyelash trim going uh, right underneath the ornament. And then she put these holly and berries that everybody picks up in Hobby Lobby. And she added some red and... It's not really a white. I'm going to call it like a cream 
colored ribbon, very thin, like a 1 8 inch. And she made it into a bow and adhered it right here. And she did emboss the back. I love embossing folders. And let's see what Miss Anna has to say. And you look at the pretties while I read her card. And again, guys, this is group nine. She's saying that she created one for me. Thank you, Miss Anna. And I appreciate it. Everything's the same. Hmm. Ah, she's worried about if her work is good enough. You, you know, it doesn't matter how you craft. That's, if that's your style or that's the way you craft, you know, all of us don't craft the same. Because if we did, then it would be boring. So it's all different, you know, and it doesn't matter, you know, if, it, it's, if it's up to anybody's standards. Because if that's how you create, that's how you create. It is what it is. So, um... But I'm sure you did a great job. I can tell by your presentation that you put a lot of thought into your packaging. Uh, everything looks beautiful, Anna. So she said I could just pick one. And I don't think they are personalized. So, yeah, no. I'm going to see if I can find... She's got her information on here. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Because it's on the, the green paper and it's, you can't see it that well. But there it is. And, she, and her channel name is My Crafting World Anna Rodriguez. She does have an Instagram and it's My Crafting World. So I'm just going to choose the one in the middle. How about that? And I'm going to move these aside so we can get into her packages and see what she created. And I love that she put her group number on the outside of her packaging, you guys. It has been... Um, I've had to go through packages because I don't know, most of you, I don't know your first name. So when you send in a swap, I don't know who you are. And I have to get into the packages and hopefully find one that has your your YouTube channel. And that's basically it's my fault because I didn't say please include your information. And even on your packaging, and I'm going to start to do that because now that I'm hosting, now I know what Miss Tamika has to go through. If she doesn't know who I am, she has to really go through the packages to get her lineup ready the way I'm having to do to find out who's who, you know. So it, it it's funny. I mean, because you know, we, we take it for granted that because we read a name, we're going to know who it is. And that's not the, obviously, that's not the way it is. I learned the hard way. Um, but hopefully I'll get better as far as, you know, being specific about what I want. And here again is her information, you guys, but you really can't see it. But I am going to post her link in the description box. And she is My Crafting, my crafting World Anna Rodriguez. So, like I said, Anna created one for me, and she's got it in this clear, resealable bag, you guys. And she used the gold eyelash trim to close it up, so you have plenty to play here with, guys, because she gave you plenty of it. So, let's see. And, you know, Miss Anna, I didn't buy the, um, the gold one. I only bought the silver one, so I don't have any gold. You know what? I'm just going to slide it off until I have time to really remove it right. So, I'm going to slide that off. And here's her packaging, you guys. And she did close it up with some scotch tape to make sure nothing falls out. And let's remove this. So I'm going to set it aside. I've bought bags before like this, two guys thinking they were resealable. And they weren't, so I've had to tape them and stuff like that. But they work. They still work. So here is what Miss Anna created. And look at her beautiful pocket that she made for her tags, you guys. She used some type of... I don't recognize this paper again. I don't own it all, guys. And, and I don't know it all either. But I love this paper. It's got the music notes to the song uh, Silent Night. And, and it's decked the halls. And it says different things. I love this paper. And then she added this little trim down here. This border piece that she punched out with a border punch, looks like. And she added a strip of flat back pearls down here and then she's got this little um, die cut that is a circle and it's got the vines and somebody else used this half of it 
Yeah. And then it's got, looks like it's got, uh, yeah, it's got vines and flowers all the way around. That's what it is. And then she made this poinsettia out of, it looks, feels like out of foam and paper, you guys. So she's got the gold, um, I mean, the pink iridescent glittered uh, poinsettia back here. And then she layered the foam uh, with the iridescent white glitter on there and then a flat back pearl. It's so pretty. I saw it and it's got stitching down the middle of the petals. It's like the veining part. I've seen a lot of you guys uh, haul that. I didn't get it, but I, I think it's pretty. And I think it comes in several sizes. And here is the back. See the paper, how pretty it is? That is very pretty. I like that. And uh, I'm going to remove it to the side, guys, and I'm going to just take out the goodies so I can save the tags for last. Yep. And I did see her video, so I know she does have a video, so I'm going to make sure to link that video in the description box. So she gifted everybody some die cuts. And this uh, little house, I, sh I think she used it in one of her tags, you guys. So she gives you these uh, die cuts that you can use as well if you want to recreate what she made or put your own twist on it. And she did back it up in that sugar blush paper, the one that has the white fur on it. And then in the back, look at this, guys. She even sent you a couple of embellishments. And it's the, the mugs with the whip topping and then the heart. So pretty in the glitter gold. These are pretty. Definitely going to put these. You know, I have a notebook, and I'm going to add these to my notebook with my die cuts. Thank you so much, Miss Anna. And then she gifted everybody um, pens. She gifted everybody a set of pens, guys. You have the silver. You have, it's either gold or copper. It looks kind of copperish to me. And then you have the red and the green, you guys. Ah, I don't have a paper, white paper to write on. But these are awesome. I like these. I really do. I really like these. And they do come in this little vinyl. Uh, it's not really plastic. It's more like a vinyl pocket. Like a pocket protector. So this is a really nice, um, this is a very nice uh, goodie, and I'm sure we can all use pens. So I'm going to take out one of her tags, and uh, this is the first one, guys. This, I don't, that's her first tag that I'm going to reveal to you, and she does have it backed up with the sugar blush paper, and she did cut out her tag with the sugar blush paper, but she incorporated other things with it. So let's see. And it just comes right out, you guys, because of the puffiness right here or the dimension. It kind of stays put in her bag, and she didn't have to tape it down. So I'm going to move that aside. Look at this beautiful stocking that she created. And it looks like she layered it several times, guys, because it's kind of thick. So this is not going to bend or anything. And uh, she did use, like I said, the pink fur paper in the Sugar Blush collection. And she added a piece, looks like a piece of rose and cream, uh, cream ribbon that has roses on it. And she's got a little piece of that gold leaf one. And then the, the satin rope that she used on the card that she created for me. And she's got this little uh, leaf. And it has, uh, it's all glittered up, guys. And this is from one of those sprays that everybody's uh, been picking up. I know I picked them up myself in this color. And here's another one of those beautiful poinsettias that I was telling you about that was in her package. And she, the center, she used a gold berry for the center. That's pretty. And then here's her hanging, hanging element. Oh, this is very pretty ribbon. It's a pale pink, you guys, with gold polka dots. Look at that. That's pretty. And then, of course, here is her to and from. So pretty. It's pretty, Miss Anna. So that was tag one, and I'm just going to set it here so you guys can continue to see it. And then the other one that she created. I'm sorry about the shadow, you guys. I can see the shadow right here, but that's just the arm of the stand that's holding my camcorder because my light that I always use decided to act up again. And I don't know if I can find another light like that because it's a really good one. Her second tag, look at her beautiful tag, you guys. Isn't that pretty? Is that shabby or what? This one is shabby. This one is shabbier. Look at that. It is very pretty, Miss Anna. I'm going to see if I can just take the tag out. Yeah. And 
Let's set that aside. Look at how pretty. Look at how pretty. I did see her video on this. She added a, um, it's a round. It's a round die cut, you guys. And here's her to and from in the back. I love the color combination when you pair up white with silver. It is very pretty. And then a clear. Oh, that's beautiful. So she's got her twin from embossed over here in silver glitter, uh, silver embossing powder. But it does have like glitter, maybe a silver tinsel. And then here's the front. And um, she used some type of like, um, there's paper that has like a canvas feel to it. That's what it feels like. And um, she added the 25 right here in the pink iridescent glittered paper. And here's that little house, you guys, the die cut that she gifted everybody. And she added snow to the rooftop and the chimney. It's so pretty. And it is on dimension. It's not flat. And then she's got this pretty uh, crystal right here. And then, of course, she added her beautiful bow that's got the double uh, tail on it, one going across and one going down in a gold foil. And then she, the center, she did it with a pink, um, a different shade of pink, but it works. It works, guys, around the center of the bow. And then she added the boa all the way around her tag, super shabby. And then she added her little bling down here. Look at this little... Uh, large she had not little it's a large bead that she added to the bottom but it's pretty it's iridescent and it's got pearls on it it's very very pretty look at that guys so pretty and her hanging element again is satin uh, uh trim and it's one about one eighth of an inch uh thick it's not a wide it's not very wide it's pretty look at this guys look at how pretty you did a great job, Miss Anna. I don't know what you were worried about. You did an awesome job. I love your tags. And I want to thank you for creating one for me because I'll be able to, eh, I'll be able to hoard these for a while. And then I'll use them or I'll duplicate them. But I, I was going to say I'll be able to share them, but I know I'm not going to want to. I share, but there's Things that I buy that I share and then things that are gifted to me. Sometimes, eh, I might just be selfish and keep them. Uh, but I love the I love your tags. And she does have a channel, you guys. And she did show, I don't, I don't think she had a process video or she might have. But I know she uh, did a project share on her channel. So I'm going to link her channel in the description box. Thank you for playing, Miss Anna. Up next, guys, we have Miss Lisa Gerard, and I don't think Miss Lisa has a YouTube channel. If she does, it will be posted in the description box, uh, but this is what she created, and uh, she created one for me, so we'll be able to, to go in and see what she created. I'm not sure even if they're personalized, but we will find out together. She's got them all in this clear bag that has a gold in the top and the bottom so that's very pretty and she's got her snowman right here and here's the back and this belongs to Miss Anna I was a little confused when I saw the name and she used uh, the bag that she has it's pretty look it's got the the trim going the ribbon going through it that's pretty I don't know if she bought it like that or if she created it uh, this way because uh, Sonia just gifted me a punch that you can thread the ribbon through. I'm dying to play with it and create something. So anyway, this belongs to Miss Anna. So everybody's is personalized, guys. So that's Miss Anna's. And then this one is mine. This one belongs to Little Bim Bimshire Soap Company. And then this one belongs to Crafting with a Smile. So let me put them back in the envelope. And this one is the one she created for me. There is my name. And she's got them in these clear bags that have, like I, I said, the gold on the top and on the bottom. And let's go inside and see what she created, you guys. Let me remove that. And she's got, let me see if that's her tags. That's her tag. Or that's one of her tags. I don't want to show her tags yet, so I'm going to move it to the side. Because I don't want to share that yet. Let me see. Did she make me a card? I think she made me a card, guys. Yes. I think this is all goodies in here. I'm not sure. We'll check together. 
this is the card that she created for me. I've seen this uh, this die right here. Now I know what it looks like. It's pretty. And it says, Joy, love, and peace for this holiday season. Yes. We cannot ask for anything better than joy, love, and peace. Same to you, Miss Lisa. You as well have a very peaceful and happy uh, happy Christmas, a happy new year, a blessed year. All, all the blessings to you, Miss Lisa. So um, this is what she created, you guys, and I moved her tag to the side, and I'm just going to start taking stuff out, hoping that I'm not taking the tag out. Look at these beautiful poinsettias that she created guys and she embossed the backing that's on here I love to do that I do that too I'll get a plain piece of paper and use it as my backing and emboss it that way it, it's neutral and they can reuse it for anything on a tag I always do this on the back of tags too because I love the way it looks anyway she created these beautiful red poinsettias that are edged in gold look at that how pretty is that oh, wait 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 she does have Nope. I'll show you that in a minute. She does not have a YouTube, but she did give you some more information there. So there's some of her information on this curved tag. I love those tags. So anyway, as I was saying, she made these beautiful red poinsettias and she added like chunky glitter to the centers. She's got this beautiful bag topper with the uh, green bow right here. Like a, it's not really a mint green, maybe a teal. And here's the back and you can open it down here you guys so you won't have to um, you don't have to ruin your topper if you want to reuse it I'm not going to take them out because you can see clearly that they are absolutely beautiful so I'm going to set that that's one of her goodies and I'm going to keep peeking in here make sure I don't take out her tags and then she added a bunch of die cuts yes I love die cuts you know, I remember when Tamika hosted that swap, I wasn't so sure that I wanted to play, so I didn't sign up. And then after I saw the beautiful uh, die cuts everybody was sending in, oh man, I could have kicked myself. But then Miss uh, Metalark, who is Miss Jacqueline, she hooked me up, and Miss Paula Di Giovanni, they both hooked me up with die cuts. Look at this. She sent you guys a sample pack of... Um, little bells in different colors just little doodads uh, you've got a snowman a snowflake some gems look at this beautiful purple one right there little trees some bells and different look at these tiny 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 bells I'll put it in this hand look at how tiny that is wow that's super tiny I don't know where you found those yep and I missed the opening in the bag <laughs> And I said I was awake. Look at that. And I said I was awake. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't like to record early in the morning because I'm not fully awake then. I'm still having my coffee and stuff. But because I have so many in the group, you guys, I'm trying to get them done in time. And then she gifted everybody some die cuts. Let me take them out of here so I can share them with you. Um, that aside and she's got this nativity scene right here it's pretty you can turn that into a shaker she's got ooh, this pretty this beautiful lamppost with the hollies oh that's so pretty I don't have that that's nice and oh look at this it's got the carolers too that probably go with that lamppost so this would be like a silhouette type of uh, die cut you guys. Oh, that's so pretty The Christmas carolers and she's got an ornament right here so pretty and then she's got the um, Nativity scene again with the three wise men baby Jesus Mary and Joseph and the little uh, Looks like a goat and then the palm trees and the star in the stable so pretty That's pretty 
What is this? Let's see. Let's see. And then I'm going to keep these two together. She gifted this die cut, you guys. And it's a, just a white circle that I just placed in the back that she included. And that way the die cut shows up better. Look at that. Like a snowy cabin uh, landscape. So she gifted everyone that. And then she made an embellishment for everybody. This little teeny tiny camera. Thank you so much for this. I love, love, love die cuts. And... Uh, I had to buy another notebook and I haven't even transferred them but I'm going to keep my holidays in one and my regular every day in another so my holiday ones won't get ruined next for next year and then she included I don't know if this might be a car no okay no she included these embossed papers guys in the white look at this gingerbread house it's so pretty look at that the Santa with the Christmas tree and the gift. Oh, those, the snowman looking up because the snow is falling. He's happy. He's not going to melt like Frosty. <laughs> and then she, oh, I don't know if that's her tag. Let me move it. Let me put it upside down. That might be one of her tags. Uh, that might be two of her tags. But what's over here? I'm confused. And she gifted everybody a, a little notepad, you guys. And I'm just going to flip through it. It's not a notepad. It's stickers. It's a little tap pad of stickers that you can use for any occasion. This is a great goodie. It really is. And then she's got more bells in here. Look at that. Yes. I love it. I love it. And I'm going to use these embossed papers that you uh, gifted everyone. Okay, let me get this straight, guys. I don't want to... Okay, here are her two tags. Three tags. I think she made three tags, you guys. So I'm just going to open this one. Here's one of the tags that she created. And this one has got the backing that has the Christmas trees. And then she's got this beautiful velvet... Uh, bow right here and this ribbon that says ho 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 and look at this beautiful snowman i have seen this snowman i don't know who makes him and i might own something similar but i don't think i've even played with it this year let me see if i can take it out without messing it up look at the washi tape isn't that pretty it's so vibrant the washi tape that she used Here's that snow, the snowman that she created, you guys, and it is layered several times, so it's it's pretty thick. It's a thick tag, and she's got silver glitter paper on the bottom, and then she overlaid the filigree work uh, snowman on top. So that is very pretty. So the background is the glittered silver backing. And then she added this glittered pink for the scarf. Look at the little carrot nose and the little hat. Everything is all blinged up, you guys, in different colors, but it's all blinged up so pretty. And she does have it, like I said, the filigree outline in white. And here's her hanging element, and she added different types of baker's twine in like a peppermint stripe with the red and the green. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then here's the back to it, the to and from. That's so pretty. That's super cute. I like that. I really like that. So I'm going to leave this out. And we're going to call this tag one. There's tag one. And let's take out tag two. And she does have a topping. A top topping. A topping. A topper on this tag. And she's got a, a bowl made out of white tulle and she's got one of those buttons that's a little gingerbread house and she's got the little twine um, I think she took the time yep she threaded it through the button and made a little bowl right there so pretty and let's open this up topping topping I thought I was having a latte or something with my whip topping on it and I'm gonna try I'm not gonna pull this one guys because I don't want to mess up the ribbon because it's the kind that has the loops. I don't know what you call that. Is it picot? Pico? And here is tag number two. And she made a fireplace. And she's got the um, 
the fireplace right here and she's got it in red and then she overlaid it with the brick open brickwork in like a cream color she's got Merry Christmas multi-layered in black and in the green and white polka dot and then she's got hanging from here she's got a little bell a little ornament a little mitten and then there's all these gifts on top of the fireplace look at that on the mantle and then she's got this little uh, candle so small oh my goodness and these are layered guys not just once she's got like a red and then she's got the green printed again the red back here and green printed then the peppermint and the holly and the candle is red and then the white on top and she's got the bling on the or it looks like uh feels like stickles you guys Here's her hanging element again with that. She went with the same green and red and white peppermint baker's twine. And then she's got this gold trim. So pretty in, in a metallic gold. And here's the back, the two in front. So pretty. I, li I like that. And again, guys, you hear that? Sturdy, sturdy, sturdy. I like that. So that's tag number two. And here is tag number three inside here. She made a topper for it and has a, looks like Frosty, right? A snowman. And let's see. Let's get into this one. Let me move this aside. And I'm going to see how she's got this, um, her tag again, backed up with this embossed white paper. You can always reuse this. You can put this on the back, back of a tag, on a card. So nothing goes to waste in my craft room. And she does have it on here with her hanging element is wired ribbon, guys. And all she did was put it over this and then fold it. And it held it, held it in place because of the wire and the ribbon. So let's move that. And here is her third tag. And look at how pretty that is. It is a watch, like a pocket watch. And she has, um, looks like she cut it out in white and then she layered. She did stamp on here, Santa Claus, um, 20, 25 December, North Pole, airmail probably. That's what it says back there. Then the Santa with the reindeer. And she added some of these pine needles right here. And here are some of those poinsettias that she created for everybody with the gold center in it. And she's got the little bear peeking outside the, like he's peeking out from the pocket watch. And again, she did the same thing, uh, uh, the pine needles with the poinsettia that is trimmed in gold. And the dial right here is in a black uh, glittered cardstock. And then she's got a velvet bow right here, you guys, that she's tied onto this wired ribbon. And you have plenty here, guys, if you need to trim it off or whatever. But she gave you plenty, even to make it into a bow if you want to. So there's that. And then here's the back. It's got the to and from in the back. That's my size of font because I can't see that well anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and I need the big fonts like this. <laughs> and she's got the twin from that is uh, my size. So you can see we don't have to put on our glasses for that. But I love it. It's beautiful. Thank you so much, Miss Miss Lisa, for creating one for me. And these are her tags. Let me move this out of the way. I don't want to take away from her tags. So these are the tags that Miss Lisa created. And again, the thing, the swap was for two shape tags or dimensional tags. And she created three, you guys. So she gave you a bonus. Thank you, Miss Lisa, for playing. And again, guys, I'm going to link her. Um, I'm going to put her name on the list, whether she has a channel or not. I'm still going to put her in the description box. And if she does have a channel, then, of course, I'll post the link there. And she did give you a bonus, so you have an extra tag to play with. Thank you for playing, Miss Lisa, and thank you for creating one for me. Great job. Hi, everyone. I'm back with the last crafter in this group. The last one in this group, but last but not least, again, I always say that, is Crafting with a Smile. And Miss um, Vanessa, this is what she created. And I know she does have a YouTube channel because I watched her video. So I know that she does. And um, this is what her packages look like, you guys. Isn't that pretty? 
very festive very festive and uh, I'm just gonna share one I'll share this one with you because you can see a little bit more here's what her packages look like I love this trim oh that's pretty that is beautiful and look at the uh, work that she did on her bag top topper I love to use different sprays and berries and stuff so I love that and everybody's is personalized with their name on it and here is her information uh, right there let me see right there she's cra okay I'm confused because her packages say Vanessa but right here it says Cheryl I'm a little confused oh, okay that's everybody's name okay it is Miss Vanessa you guys so this one is the one the Ida I'm looking at it right here you guys anyway she did include a goodie for everybody and she packaged it everything so nicely and I'm going to uh, we will be able to get into them because Miss Vanessa created one for me let's see if we can find that one this one is Miss Anna's I don't want anything to fall off I love that trim I don't know where you found that trim but I love it I absolutely love it and uh, this is the one that she created for me let me move the trim down look at this pretty trim with the little fuzzy white on the edges yes that's very pretty and there's her back topper you guys and she used that I love this uh, trim that you use back here I actually have some of this and I love it and uh, it's that open weave guys that I used on those old world Santa cards that's what she used back here and then she's got this spray right here with the berries tiny tiny berries in the white and then she's got the bigger red berries and then she's got this um, spiral I don't know if it's um, Chanel stem or what but she's got this uh, like to mimic a flower and there's the back and um, I want to show you her information so I'm going to just slide this off look at that guys definitely going to reuse that that's for sure okay I want to show you her information here is all her information you guys and she's got all the the swap information and she does have an Instagram and she does have a YouTube channel and both of them are crafting with a smile and she just kind of tapes the goodie bag to the back of one of those her tags so I'm gonna leave them backwards so you guys cannot see them but look at this beautiful ribbon I love this ribbon and I'm going to reuse this I don't know on what but I'm definitely going to keep that I would definitely if I saw that in the store I would definitely pick it up that's for sure so she's got all the goodies in this little uh, glossine bag it's a small one either she made it I don't know it's it's a small one it doesn't even it kind of feels like a glossine but it kind of feels like vellum like it's really thick you guys not like the regular glossine bags you hear that I like the crinkle I'm sorry for those of you who don't oh these are pretty look at what she gifted everyone these are highly sought after the coveted little bling that only certain areas have the stores that carry these my stores don't carry this so thank you very very much I'm gonna add these to the other ones that I've been gifted and I'm not sure if I got the blue my friend Carolyn might have gifted me the blue but I do have other colors thank you so much I love this I love it I love it I love it okay let's start off with tag one or actually tag two well it doesn't matter this is the first one I'm going to show you and again she's got that um, that uh, trim back here and she's got the white uh, spray right here with the berries and this coiled red flower over here and she does have it backed up with some cardinal uh, paper in the back pretty and then there's all her information and let's see what's in here and I think I can just pull it out yep I can just pull out the tag guys the way she did it this tag she went the extra mile guys she thought outside of the box she used some uh, felt to create these tags and uh, it looks like felt and maybe even fabric yeah 
That's what it is, it's fabric. It feels like fabric. And she made a gingerbread man, and then she did the tips with some kind of check fabric. And he's in the dark brown felt, and he's got little teeny tiny pom-poms for the buttons on his uh, outfit. And he's got a little felt scarf, and it's, the edges are even fringed, you guys. Look at that. The edges are even fringed on him. And he's got a little snowflake right here. So pretty. And a little tiny, tiny star. I like that. And then she's got this, um, feels like the hat is cut out of some type of uh, vinyl or patent leather. Faux leather, that's what it feels like. So pretty. That is very pretty. You did a good job. And there's the to and from. And this gingerbread, guys, she cut it out of paper as well. So the paper's in the back. And whatever dye that she used, it does have the stitching all the way around it. And her hanging element is a piece of leather cording. She's got leather cording as the hanging element. That's very pretty. And you know, guys, sometimes I'll, we make tags and most of the time they're feminine. This one can be for a masculine gift. And then she's got the to and from. Super cute. Or for mom and dad, right? Because there's dad. Okay, here's my imagination, guys. My daddy already passed away, but some of us still have a dad. My children still have a dad. I still have a dad, but he's just not here. So um, that's for dad. And here's mom, look at her, all blinged out with her earrings. And the topper is the same, guys, as the other one. And let's get into this tag. She's got those little pearl, little uh, gems that she gifted everybody in the oh. pink on her. Isn't she cute with earrings? Mm -hmm, that's cute. Say hi, Abby. Hi, everybody. Y'all say hi to Abby. <laughs> Again, she's backed it up with the red cardinal. I know there's a lot of people who like these. Uh, what are they, robins or cardinals, or is it one and the same? Maybe a robin. Well, maybe a cardinal. Yeah. Or both, either or. Okay. And uh, that's what it, so you have a couple of pieces there to work with, guys. Okay. Look at this uh, felt. Here's Mama's tag right here. This is Mama's tag right here, and she's wearing her hoop earrings. She's wearing a little tutu, or is that a blinged out apron? It could be a blinged out apron, you guys, because you know we're the ones that got to cook. And she's used, uh, she cut it out of, again, the brown felt, and Mama's a little bit lighter than Daddy. Yep, in our family it is. I'm the light-complected one, and my husband is the darker well, we're one. we're the same color, so. <laughs> I'm showing it. <laughs> Abby wants your tag. She does not let me <laughs> finish. She's trying to show it, and she's trying to grab it out of my hands. <laughs> anyway, she's in the brown, and she's wearing her little blinged-out apron or tutu with that little bling going across her waist, and she does have some more, like a red tulle as well, and then she cut it out in pink felt, and she used that trim that has the leaves in it, the gold, the pink one, and cut the leaves off and put it on her blouse, and then a little bow right here in the felt. That's what it feels like, and she's wearing her hoops because it's Christmas, guys. She's wearing her new hoop somebody bought her and she curled her hair the night before look at the curly hair on her and she's wearing a little bow and a bling how about that <laughs> and her hanging element is tulle it's blinged out tulle because you know how we women roll and it's in the red and the pink and it's not really a red it looks kind of like a burgundy maybe it looks kind of burgundy guys to me no it's red it's red mm -hmm. okay Maybe I can't see anymore. Can't see and them. then here's the back. She cut it out the same as the male one, male gingerbread. And, and that's uh, the gingerbread man, and this is ginger. So, and there's the to and from with this cut die cut. Ginger that and did. bread, because he brings home the money. <laughs> see, gingerbread. No. Okay. Go to work. i got to send her to work, guys. She doesn't let me finish my video video <laughs> anyway she did a beautiful job look at this guys <laughs> look at this let me zoom in so you guys can get a really good look look at how cute they are aren't they super cute they are so cute let me fix her earrings thank you so much miss vanessa for playing thank you for creating one for me uh we really enjoyed these uh tags all of the tags but you know abby came in here and just started making me laugh with this one so um 
but I want to thank you for playing and for creating one for me. And again, guys, she does have a YouTube channel because I saw the video. So I'm going to post the link to the corresponding video in the description box. Thank you for playing, Miss Vanessa. I want to thank all the ladies that played. And I want to thank you all for creating one for me. It makes uh, what I have to do a whole lot easier because I don't have to worry about tampering with other people's stuff. So, uh, you know, I can just show your work to the best of my ability. Thanks for playing. Everyone have a great day and God bless. Bye.